What is up guys? Got my homie Jared back there. We are heading out for our Montana rifle bow elk hunt. Got a little sappy sap right there in the front. I'm excited. <laughs> Me too. I'm very excited. Hopefully I'm, we can find some bulls. Oh, we're gonna find something. We're gonna be up there for six yeah. days. So Especially we're... going in a day early. I, th I think we have a pretty good chance at least seeing bulls, but. Oh, for sure. No, this is the hunt that Jared did last year and we went in too late. <laughs> yeah, we did. All the bulls were pushed out from all the hunting pressure or just timbered up. But this year we're going in a day early. We'll have a full day of scouting tomorrow. And then we'll have six full days of hunting. So I'm pretty confident that we'll at least get one bull down. Hopefully two though. Hopefully two. Yeah, that, that would be very nice. And I appreciate Jared tagging me along and let me come with and guys i'm excited for this adventure so come along it's gonna be a riot Jared, what we got? Got some elk up on the hill. A trusty old spot. I knew there'd be elk here. I called it earlier today. Said, Wes, we're gonna spot some elk up on this mountain. Cause I did two years ago. <laughs> and sure enough, like clockwork, they're there. We're gonna pull out the spotter, see if there's any good bulls. It's not really the spot we wanna hunt cause I was here on opening day two years ago and it was a circus, so we're probably not gonna hunt here, but it's fun to look at elk. Definitely nothing giant. See, when I glassed this a couple years ago, there was a couple that I thought were pretty good six points, so. Oh, that's good. I smashed it in that. Socked in opening morning of the rifle hunt right now in Montana. This guy's boots are frozen solid. He can't even get his boots on. And my left one's a little frozen. For right now, we can't see outside. It's like 75 yards visibility, if that. But everything else is socked in. The things that we want to go glass, we can't see. And yesterday, I came up on two bulls. Actually, the bull that I drew back on with my archery hunt and another nice little six by seven. And then this man found like 40 head, yeah. just very, very far away. So right now we're just, we're laying low. We're waiting for Jared to actually be able to put his boots on. <laughs> and so we can actually see what's going on. But right now, just staying cozy. Give you a quick rundown of camp. That's what we're working with. We don't even really have the actual body shell. We're just sleeping on that base layer right there and then have the rain fly over us. Got Jared's stuff, my stuff we're ready to rock and roll. We actually just heard two shots. It's kind of clearing up. We heard two shots over this way. So it's go time. You ready to get going, bud? What's that? I said you ready to get going? Oh yeah. You hearing those two shots? Uh, did you hear that third one? Oh, I didn't. Sound like it uh, came from where you saw those bulls yesterday. Oh, no. Well, we're gonna start getting after. Starting to clear up just a teeny tiny bit, if you guys can see that back there. Yeah, buddy. Let's go get a bull.
Oh, how the seasons have changed. We were not able to get out of our tent <laughs> at first light because my boots were completely frozen and I couldn't get my feet in them. It was completely socked in like it is now. We haven't seen an elk yet. We've seen some hunters. We've heard some gunshots. We're hoping that this clears up soon so we can glass and hopefully locate some bulls. Well, day one in Montana is coming to an end. It's been socked in pretty much most of the day. When it has cleared up, we haven't been able to spot any elk. It's been a pretty crummy day. Lots of wind, lots of snow. We're kind of just hunkered down right now. Little, little fire. Just hoping that it would clear up so we could glass up a bowl this last hour of light, but doesn't look like it's gonna happen. It's it's pretty socked in still, so probably just gonna head back to camp, get some dinner and gear up for the morning. Well, last night was not very fun. A lot of snow got in the tent, and we are frozen. I want to go home. <laughs> we had a blizzard come in. All of our stuff is completely frozen. So we slept in this morning uh, just because, well, Jared right now cannot even get his boots on because it's so frozen. So, yeah, this is, this is going over real well. Forcing those on right now. It's still a blizzard outside, it looks like. All of our stuff is snow covered. Look at all this. Everything's snow covered. We're gonna do our best right now to get up and head out because there's no point in staying here freezing to death. Made it back to the truck. Holy cow, I'm so glad to be back. Look at my beard. It's cold. Oh man, that was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. And I had even a little meltdown because of how cold my hands were. I couldn't feel them for a good little bit. And that just was not fun. Hunting's fun. That wasn't that fun. I'm just so thankful to be back at the vehicle and thankful this guy back there. Ah! Damn camera. <laughs> We're gonna try to figure out another game plan and see what happens. Alright, it's day three in Montana. We're just hiking into a new spot. We saw a herd of elk in here the day before season, but we were backpacked into a 
different drainage so we can really access this spot. But we backed out yesterday, got a hotel room last night, kind of regrouped. Now we're in this new area. Hopefully these elk that we saw the other day are still in here. What do you think, Wes? There you have it. He thinks we're gonna get it done, so wish us luck. We're just starting to get discouraged. We just got some fresh bull tracks up on this ridge. So we're just gonna follow these tracks for a while. Hopefully run into the bull. I have Jared back behind me. I'm on a huge finger. It it goes for a long, long ways. And Jared's back there. I honestly have no idea where he's at. I just know he's on the other side. I have followed these elk tracks so far in here. Like an unbelievable distance. And I'm pretty much to the head of this drainage that we were looking up in earlier. Probably going to have to start heading back soon. Just because of how far I'm in here. I think I'm about seven miles in at this point. So it's pretty much going to take me the rest of the day to get back to the truck, but maybe I'll run into something on the way back. Well, this rub confirms that at least I'm following bull tracks and not cow tracks. So that's a good sign. I did just cut some bear tracks in the snow. So that makes me feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside as I'm hiking through the dark timber. Hopefully I run into the bull and not the bear. I'm officially calling it quits <clears throat> on following that bull's tracks. Oh, I think I followed him for about five miles is what my pedometer said. His tracks were just going up and away still and it's just getting later in the day. I feel like I need to head back. Pretty discouraged <clears throat> that I followed his tracks all that way for basically nothing. He really drug me in deep though. <laughs> oh man, I lost Wes way back when I first started following the tracks. He stayed up on the ridge and I dropped down into the drainage so I have no idea where he's at or what he's seen today but hopefully I can meet back up with him. Hopefully he didn't get lost. I just heard Jared shoot. I don't know if he even got it, but I'm pretty sure he's the only one up in that canyon. And pretty sure he just got some shots off. So I don't know. He's it was kind of far away too, so I'll have to probably meet him back at the truck or see what happened. But I I have no idea where he's at. I just heard the shots go off. Fingers crossed the man got it done. I just shot a freaking bull. I was coming down this ridge. And I was seeing bull tracks and they looked pretty fresh but I thought the ones earlier were fresh too and I followed those for five miles so I was not being as careful as I should have been and the ridge was kind of open and then it started getting real timbered on the ridge and the tracks they looked fresh I should have been more careful but I ended up bumping these two bulls and they just busted down and then I knew they were going to come up this other side so I just followed their tracks and sure enough I saw them coming up the other side about 370 to 400 yards away and it took me it took me about five shots. I finally watched him tumble. Man these animals are so tough you just got to put a perfect shot in them. I didn't have a great range my rangefinder just wasn't picking anything up where he was at all I could get was some trees that were a little bit below him and they were saying 350 so figured he was probably closer to four once I figured that out I held a little bit higher and that's the last shot that dumped him so he should be dead just across this canyon over here there he is He's down. Oh, it's a beautiful sight. Whew. Here he is. 2019 
general season public land Montana bowl we've been at it pretty freaking hard we backpacked in on Thursday which was a day and a half before the season we weren't able to turn up much it's a spot that we've hunted a couple times in archery season and we've usually turned up a lot of bulls but Wes only saw two bulls I didn't even see them they seem to be the only two elk in the area. We got hit with weather pretty bad on Saturday night and Sunday morning. So we ended up backing out um, yesterday, <clears throat> which was Sunday. Kind of regrouped, got a, got a hotel room, kind of just recharged our batteries and dried all of our gear off. And then this morning we uh, woke up pretty early to get into this spot and we didn't turn up anything. I mean, I followed elk tracks all freaking day and then finally the elk tracks actually led to a bull. So I'm pretty stoked. All right guys, just got back to the truck and a freak blizzard just hit us. I have no idea where Jared's at. I hope he's okay. It's dark. I just barely found the truck. I, I'll be honest, I said a, said a prayer out loud that I could find the truck because you can't see. And my face is frozen. I just, I hope Jared's okay. Oh man, this is nuts. This is... This is crazy. This is by far the hardest hunt I've ever been on and actually one of the hardest things I've ever done. The cold is unreal and this snowstorm sucks. I just hope Jared's okay. That's all I care about. I just want Jared to be okay. I don't even care if he has a bull. I just want him to get here. I'll update you guys when he gets here. <laughs> Jared made it back and he got a bull. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's negative four right now. And I am so thankful that he is back right now. My hell, that was an adventure. <laughs> we both almost died. That was not worth it. That, that was the stupidest thing we've ever done. Well, I've ever done. Oh. I jeopardized mine and Wes's safety. It's okay. I'm not okay with it. It's okay. No bull I is just, worth people dying. I just did circles around the truck to stay warm, and I did. And I'm so thankful <laughs> we're getting out of this right now. Holy cow, and I don't even know how this is filming, but I don't care. This has been the craziest hunt I've ever experienced, and I'm just thankful you're back, man. So thankful. Me too. I'm thankful you're alive. <laughs> yeah. Whew! I do, I cut bear tracks. Like, oh, I saw a bear so today. So many times. I saw a bear today too. Black bear? It was brown. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a black bear. But it was big. Was it? Yeah. It didn't have cubs with it or anything. Didn't have a hump. What's up, guys? Ah. Last night was so insane. We went all the way back to town, and when we got back to town, they were sold out of all their rooms in, like, what, 12 hotels they had or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> sold out of everything. So we had to travel even further down the road to get a room because there was no way we were staying out in this blizzard. There, it wasn't gonna happen. It's negative five. Yeah, negative five degrees. And it was just so cold and I'm just thankful, honestly, to be alive. And I'm thankful that this man <laughs> made it back to the truck and he hauled out some meat last night and just was kicking his butt, getting out and getting back. So I didn't die <laughs> sitting outside. We just got back. He left most of the bull still back in here. We have to 
probably what four miles you think four or five yeah four or five miles back in there grab the rest of the bull um i'm gonna be hunting my way in and a little bit out but we're gonna go get his bull taken care of and then maybe tomorrow we can get it done we're gonna go full send and then probably head back tomorrow night but regardless this trip has been so memorable and i'll never forget this and it's honestly i feel made me like a stronger person almost yeah. you know like just thankful for <laughs> life and what we have and just warmth just having a vehicle that was warm and just going back to a place that was warm like i don't know i i feel a lot of people just get caught up in everyday life and they don't really appreciate the little things in life and i'll tell you what being out here in negative five degrees it makes yeah. you appreciate a lot of things I'm thankful for jared and just i'm glad you're okay <laughs> i'm glad I'm we're glad you're both okay, okay. <laughs> Uh, I haven't really documented as much as I'd like on this hunt, but when it's negative five and you take your glove off just to turn on the camera and your hand goes numb, I, to me, it's almost not worth it documenting sometimes just because you're trying to survive. That's how I think of it yeah. anyway. Like yeah. it, it's been nuts, but oh, we're going to go back in here, get his bull, try to get back out as fast as possible. And it's a beautiful day actually today. A little bit of clouds, but for the most part, sunny skies. And it's gonna be a beautiful day to go get his bull. And I'm excited to go in there, take some more video, some pictures, and I'll document that for sure. I've only taken maybe a couple pictures this whole trip and a handful of videos just because it's it's cold and you don't really think about documentation when you're just trying to survive and stay warm. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the bull and we'll show you guys. Well, we just made it in here to the bowl. He's covered in snow. It's about five miles in here. I packed out a shoulder, a back strap, and a tenderloin last night. So all we have left is two hindquarters, a shoulder, a back strap, and a tenderloin. And we're gonna try to get it all in one load. Who knows if we'll be able to do that. That'll be some pretty heavy packs. We're hoping though, we don't wanna have to make another trip in here. So we'll see what we can do. Well, we couldn't fit all the meat on our backpacks, so I made a makeshift sled. <laughs> and I'm just carrying the carrying one of the hindquarters right behind me. It's pretty painful, but the snow definitely makes it easier. We're just doing what we have to do. We might ditch it and come back for it tomorrow, because we're still like four miles in here. We've only gone about a mile, and I'm already smoked, so. Might come back for it tomorrow. Oh, oh damn that hurt. got this last hind quarter strapped to the pack. We've got a three mile hike back to the truck. It's a beautiful day to be packing meat.